Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday, November 1st, 2017. And I hope everyone is having a beautiful day in the Lord. I have a couple of devotionals for you today. But first, I would like to say the Our Father. So please join me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Yesterday, <clears throat> leaving my house, I, uh, I fell. As soon as I stepped out of the house, I... I lost my balance and I went right down and um, it's it's very very scary to fall down when you're older because when you're younger you fall you just get right back up but when you when you're older um, it shakes you right to your core because you f you feel vulner so vulnerable uh, and you can't imagine how you fell you know uh, luckily well, I, I, I put one foot down out of the threshold of my front door and for some reason when my foot hit the the, the ground I lost my balance and I um, I grabbed hold of the banister you know the rail that really prevented me from actually rolling down the steps but I landed on my knees and uh, of course you know when you grab when you grab hold of something to break your fall everything on that one side of your body gets pulled so I have some black and blues you can't see it here but right here it's all black and blue it's turning uh, it's swollen and um, my hip my leg I I um, it makes you wonder too because I you you feel like you're under the protection of the father and then when something happens to you you say to yourself was that the Lord teaching me something or was that Satan trying to trip me and then I remembered that the day before I posted the message from the Lord about what the government is actually doing and scheming and what's actually happening with the sun and um, so um, I, I actually think it, the fact that it could have been worse that I my angels helped me from prevented me from actually rolling down those concrete steps so uh, that's how I'm gonna look at it <laughs> okay this is called wrath or favor and the scriptural readings are coming from Proverbs 19, John 3.36, and Romans 5.1, and 1 Thessalonians 5.9. Um, and Proverbs 19.12 says, The king's wrath is like the roaring of a lion, but his favor is like dew on the grass. Am I really acceptable to God? Does he really love me? How can I be sure he isn't angry with me? These are questions that may rise up unbidden in your mind, especially when fierce trials press in on you. It may feel as if his wrath is being poured out because the pre pressure is so great. Yet understand that at the moment you accept Jesus as Savior, you are reconciled to the Father and peace is established between you uh, between you. And you could read about that in Romans 5.1. It's only if you reject Christ that you experience the Lord's wrath. John 3.36 explains, quotes, He who believes in the Son has eternal life, but he who does not obey the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. In other words, you receive his fury 
only if you reject the gift of salvation he has given you through Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5 9 affirms God has not destined us for wrath but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God that he gave us a way. Therefore, if you are fearful of God's anger today, your anxiety is misplaced. He is not punishing you. So what is really going on then? If the Father isn't mad at you, why do bad things continue to occur? For this, you will have to spend time with him to understand what he is achieving in your life. He may be cleansing you of sin, stretching your faith, or building your character, but whatever his goal, it is out of love, not anger. In fact, he most likely sees potential in you he wishes to develop, and that requires discipline. Therefore, what you're experiencing is actually favor, not wrath. So take heart and trust him to lead you. And a prayer we can say is, Father, I will trust that these trials are evidence of your love and favor. Teach me and lead me to better things, Lord. Amen. And this one is called True Protection. And the scripture readings are coming from Proverbs 30, John 16, 33, and Ephesians 6, 12 to 17. And Proverbs 30, 26 states, Cliff, cliff badgers, delicate little animals who protect themselves by living among the rocks. Are you discouraged by the news of wars in various parts of the world? Or worse, are you disheartened as you see the terrible things happening before your eyes in your own community and in your nation? Do you long for the day when such conflicts cease? Yet, as a believer, it's important that you recognize that the main battle against you and the body of Christ today, quotes, is not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places, unquote. And that comes from Ephesians 6.12. Yes, the conflicts of this world should cause you concern, but the true threat you face is the spiritual warfare that assails you every day. Yeah, like me falling down the steps. In Proverbs, cliff badges are praised for their ability to make effective use of what they have for their protection. Unfortunately, as believers, we often fail to do the same thing. In Ephesians 6, 13 to 17, God reveals the weapons he's given us for fighting this war. The spiritual armor that will enable us to stand firm against the enemy's onslaughts. Yet how often do we consciously put on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, and all the other arm armaments we have at our disposal. If you've been fighting the battles of life with human plans and methods, it's no wonder you are tired and discouraged. But God has given you mighty weapons so you won't merely survive today's onslaughts, you'll thrive despite them. So put on the armor today and be on the alert. God has given you everything you need for victory. You can read about that in John 16, 33. Just listen to your commander and chief and obey him. And a prayer we can say is, Father, I do get discouraged, but I am grateful. The victory is ultimately yours. Dress me in your armor and lead me to triumph. Amen. Yeah, every day is like a learning, new learning experience. But how wonderful is that? Life would be so boring, right? If the Father didn't reveal things to us. We, we'd be like a hamster on a wheel, going nowhere. And on that note, I wish you a beautiful day in the Lord and tell you I love you. Jesus loves you. Never forget how much he loves you. 
He loves you so much. He really does. And he's coming very, very soon. Sooner than you think. So keep looking up.